United Nations 1990 Convention of the Rights of the Child Preamble The states parties to the present convention, considering that, in accordance with the principles proclaimed in the Charter of the United Nations, recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Recognizing that the United Nations has, in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and in the International Covenants on Human Rights, proclaimed and agreed that everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth therein, without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Recalling that, in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the United Nations has proclaimed that childhood is entitled to special care and assistance, recognizing that the child, for the full and harmonious development of his or her personality, should grow up in a family environment, in an atmosphere of happiness, love, and understanding. Considering that the child should be fully prepared to live an individual life in society, and brought up in the spirit of the ideals proclaimed in the Charter of the United Nations, and in particular, in the spirit of peace, dignity, tolerance, freedom, equality, and solidarity. Bearing in mind that, as indicated in the Declaration of the Rights of the Child, the child, by reason of his physical and mental immaturity, needs special safeguards and care. Taking do account of the importance of the traditions and cultural values of each people for the protection and harmonious development of the child have agreed as follows. Part 1. Article 2. States parties shall take all appropriate measures to ensure that the child is protected against all forms of discrimination or punishment on the basis of the status, activities, expressed opinions, or beliefs of the child's parents legal guardians, or family members. Article 7. The child shall be registered immediately after birth and shall have the right from birth to a name, the right to acquire a nationality, and as far as possible, the right to know and be cared for by his or her parents. States' parties shall ensure the implementation of these rights in accordance with their national law and their obligations under the relevant international instruments of this field in particular, where the child would otherwise be stateless. Article 8. States parties undertake to respect the right of the child to preserve his or her identity, including nationality, name, and family relations, as recognized by law without unlawful interference. Where a child is illegally deprived or of some or all of the elements of his or her identity, states parties shall provide appropriate assistance and protection with a view to re-establishing speedily his or her identity. Article 9. States parties shall ensure that a child shall not be separated from his or her parents against their will. States parties shall respect the right of the child who is separated from one or both parents to maintain personal relations and direct contact with both parents on a regular basis. Article 14. States parties shall respect the right of the child to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. States parties shall respect the rights and duties of the parents and, when applicable, legal guardians to provide direction to the child in the exercise of his or her right in a manner consistent with the evolving capacities of the child. Article 16. No child shall be subjugated to arbitrary or unlawful interference with his or her privacy, family, home, or correspondence, nor to unlawful attacks on his or her honor and reputation. The child has the right to the protection of the law against such interference or attacks. Article 18. States' parties shall use their best efforts to ensure recognition of the principle that both parents have common responsibilities for the upbringing and development of the child. Article 29. States parties agree that the education of the child shall be directed to 
the development of the child's personality, talents, and mental and physical abilities to their fullest potential, the development of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, and for the principles enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations, the development of respect for the child's parents, his or her own cultural identity, language, and values, for the national values of the country in which the child is living, the country from which he or she may originate, and for civilizations different from his or her own. The preparation of the child for responsible life in a free society in the spirit of understanding, peace, tolerance,